Hey guys, for Take 3 Productions, I'm Chris Stoneman, and here with me today, I've got Jacob Blunden, Case Cornelesa, and Kristen Smith. Oh. It's here! It's here. It's finally here! Our first, oh our first singles title match since the triple threat at Collision, and this one is going to rip my goddamn heart out because <laughs> it is... Dangerous Dan Merle defending his belt against the one, the only, the reason we are all here, the commissioner, Christian Darth Harloff. And yes, guys, you can tell I am very excited right now. I, and I I don't know who to root for. Jacob, start with you. Hashtag who you got. I think I'm the only one on this panel who is 100% going for Dan and expects Dan to win, wants Dan to win, going for Dan. Look, Dan is, outside of Roka, Dan is my favorite competitor. I think Dan has just shown that he is just so great at this. He is the number one competitor. He he will ever, always be that. There, No one is going to ever touch Dan. Um, you know, Roka got Dan on a bad day. And, I, and I'm saying that as one of Roka's biggest fans. And he got, he got his belt because he got Dan on a bad day. And... I, I don't see I don't see how Harloff beats him. I, I don't see it. A very uh, very controversial pick indeed. Uh, Case, would you like to counter that? <laughs> um, Dan Merle is the greatest player this league has ever seen. He is seven and one, and as Jacob said, the only reason that um, Roca managed to beat Dan in that one title match was Roca got inside Dan's head. That is why he got it, because Dan got a mixed bag in round two, and he could have spin, uh, spun again and probably get a better category, but he didn't because Roca got inside his head. Dan lost that match. Roca didn't win it, and other than that, Ro Ro Dan has beaten every single great competitor this league has known. Sam Levine most recently, but also, also Roca and Riley at the same time. He has beaten Riley. He has beaten... So many great competitors, and now he's going up against my favorite competitor of this entire league, Christian Harloff. He has always been my favorite, and he finally gets his well-deserved title shot. Nothing is rigged here. Please, for the love of anyone saying that, I hate it, because it's not true. Christian deserves this. Uh, he should have had this title shot a long time ago. He didn't get it because of fucking Blue Fairy bullshit. Um, <laughs> but now, 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 he, now he's finally back. Um, after winning against Snyder and Bibiani, like big competitors, he had to to go through some really big competitors to get here. So he definitely earned this. I can't wait for it. In the back of my head, it says that Dan is probably winning this because he's just the greatest. But God damn it, Christian, I'm rooting. I'm rooting for you. I want you to win this one. It, it's going to be a great match either way. Oh God, great points from both of you. Uh, but Kristen, uh. Is there anywhere to go in the middle, or do you are are you as torn as I am? Oh no, uh, <laughs> completely torn because uh, so my order of competitors goes Mark Ellis because he came out as a baby carrot once, and that <laughs> was my favorite thing in the whole world. Uh, no, and he's a good guy. Uh, and then Dan Merle. So uh, I'm torn because I want Dan to win. I believe he can win. He's ridiculously knowledgeable about this trivia business, but I also am selfish and I don't want Harloff to retire. So can, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm very torn. I don't want him to retire, but at the same time, I think he has the opportunity to win because there is no one in this world who lives, eats, breathes, sleeps, schmodown like Christian Harloff does. He is so ingrained into this competition that I think that he has an automatic one up on everyone else he plays. Um, I'm in the middle and I will say that I'm giving a very, very, very slight edge to Christian, but I'm very torn. I'm extremely torn. <laughs> yeah. And I, I'm, I'm very selfish. <laughs> oh God. And the thing is, I want to be selfish too, because, you know, from one commissioner to another, look, Christian, you know, I'm rooting for you. I really want you to win this, but this would be like if... I fought Jacob right now in Worldwide Movie Trivia. And it would be a one hell of a fight. But there's about, you know, 90-10 chance 
that he would win. So uh, Jacob, Jacob almost has the same record. <laughs> just about, just about. One more tile defense, and he will have Dan's record. But that being said, guys, let's get ready. Let's get ready to possibly cry our eyes out and or scream for joy in three, two, one, play. Oh, God. And the winner, Dangerous Dan. Champion man's Riley with the belt. But showmanship is something, and I, I love a buildup. I love. I want steel to sharpen and steel. Ellis. I want the best of the best. To that was a great match. Each other every single mm. week, yes. I want the best of the best to win every single week, and I want to face the absolute best of the best to win this belt. Because if they take it from me, I want it to be fair and square. I want to face the best of the best. And Levine did really well in his title match. Actually. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. you hear it from the fans. So you win, it's it's rigged. You it's lose, rigged. Right. you threw it. It's so I'm never going to throw it. I'm always going to play the competitive nature and right. wants to do that. I didn't think I would beat Bibiani. Right. I didn't think I would beat Steiner. And now here I am, and I'm playing uh, the best of all time, and I will say I don't think I'm going to beat him. First thing I'm going to do before anything is yes, shake sir. your hand. Oh, my pleasure. You and I, before this, before being Knowles, we got a Knoll thing here, but, but you are by far, and I've told you this many times, you're one of the best people I know in this space. I do want it is an honor to have you. It was an honor to have you the first time as the champion. Ellis? It is an honor to have you once again as a champion. Yeah, but and now it's going to be an honor to face you. For Ken or Kuka? Oh, no, wait. Uh, uh, no, Ellis can't fall hard off matches. You, my friend, because you oh. get away right. around, so. Well, here's the, here's the problem <laughs> I face. Because I, I just watched seeing you what you did. Um, <laughs> I face the problem that I'm coming off of a team victory over you. Yes. And I know how That's you get. <laughs> yeah. What you just said about the free-for-all, I'm sure you feel the same way about me. I have to be honest, the second biggest sting <laughs> I that I ever had in that ring was, I was getting it down answer. to 50-50 no. on the first Martin Scorsese movie and picking the wrong one. I, I do have a chance now <laughs> to write that wrong. You do, and and you also, and the flip side of that, you defeated Team my partner has never in the spectacular. worked well for Dan. Um, no matter what, if I was to take it off you, the fans are going to say that I did it in my favor, but I will tell you what, we're going to fight, we're going to have a great time, I'm honored. Absolutely honored to play you. I'm honored to play you, and I want to talk to the fans because I see this nonsense about Christian floating around. And I'll tell you, I am a true champion. I would not play a man who would rig a game, and I would not play in a rigged game. I walk, and I'm not doing that. I look forward to playing this guy, and whoever wins this game is going to be your champion fair and square. So all that nonsense you're spouting online, stop it. This is going to be a fair fight. It's going to be one hell of a good fight. <laughs> that reaction. So what does he walk out in? I don't know. Does he walk out wearing a new mail order or does he walk out just back to basics again? I think it's just back to basics for him today. It worked out well last time. It did. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Atmosphere here today. I am Mark Ellis. In that is Ken Napsok. And Ken, when you talk about competition, you talk about movie trivia, one person comes to mind, and that is Christian Harloff, the man who co created this entire thing. He is the commissioner of the league, and he's going up against perhaps the best player the league has ever seen. It is amazing and fun to watch Dangerous Dan Merle move through the Schmodown, even in losses. He is entertaining and powerful and a force to be reckoned with, and he regained mm -hmm. that title. But I have said it time and time again, the commissioner, Christian Harloff, it can be easy to overlook him because he spends so much time up here. But this man started all this with you because of a passion for movies. It makes sense that he's here contending today. That's right, because books are dumb. And the funny thing about this matchup is that it wasn't really ever on the <laughs> radar because Christian just had this little revenge tour he was going to yep. go on, like a yep. rock band that got thrown into <laughs> the most famous band in the world. All of a sudden, uh, his little revenge tour started out strong, and it only picked up steam, and it somehow has landed here, pitting him against Dan Merle. Wow, this Ooh, is going Lordy. to be quite a titanic 
and Titanic matchup. It's a Titanic. Titanic is a higher game. version of Titanic. I did not know that. I would have lost that <laughs> point to you. And you know, it's such a big match that I don't think just two people can call it. I think we need oh. somebody. I think we need a little bit of celebrity muscle here. Nobody better to do that than Mr. Mark Yodi Riley, everybody. Wow. wow. We are graced. Multi-champion. Look at that. First ballot Hall of Famer. Yeah. Yep, one of the legends of the game. That's right, making Matthew Kearns happy with his appearance here. <gasps> yeah. Whoa! We'll be calling the match. Hey, Mark Kearns Ryan. got a shout oh, out. This man next to us. That's right, he brought his Superman music, which is very <laughs> yeah. exciting. Uh, much like a competitor would, Riley, you are never that far from the championship spotlight. And here you're calling Alice? a match between Dan Thank Merle you. and Christian Harloff. What do you think the competitors are going through right now? Well, first of all, guys, it's an honor to be up here with two heavyweights in yeah. the league here of uh, announcing and calling against two heavyweights here. Yeah. So who do I got? Are you asking me the question of who I have in this match or what do I think? Hashtag who you got? <laughs> who do I got? It's going to be tough. Oh, but what God. you said, Ken Knapsack, yep. is Christian Harloff can never be overlooked. Right. This guy, he uh, he almost pitched a perfect game yep. against John Roca, one of my rivals, who was another mm. heavyweight at this league. But yep. Dan Merle, I have fought him twice. Sadly, I have lost twice. Yeah. This guy is tough to beat. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I might have to give the slight edge to Dan Merle. That's okay. why we bring you on here. Now, both competitors graduated from Tallahassee Clown College and Mark Riley, as oh, you get yeah, into a, good a I hear good things about that. <laughs> now, look, when you look at this from a tournament standpoint, we could have a belt changing hands. How hard is it once you get in the ring to protect that belt that you worked so hard to achieve in the first place? It's tough. You know, the league play is one beast. The championship is another. These lights can get to you. They got to me in my match with Dan Merle the first time. But I know that when you have played this game a lot, you can get all of that out of there. You can play just one question at a time. That's what this game is, Gosh. one question at a time. And if Christian can do that, which I know he can, he should be okay and hang in there tough. One question at a time, five rounds for the championship yeah, matchup. And there has time, been though. some cordial words, but you can for. clearly see the fire and the passion between these two competitors. Here's a quick look. <laughs> All right, well, here we are. Um, this is very interesting. It's very exciting. I am getting a chance to go up against Dangerous Dan Merle for the championship, who I am a huge fan of. I think he's one of the guys that helped me and Mark really build this thing. He is arguably the greatest that has ever played the game. And just like Rocky, I just wanted to go the distance. I'm back. I'm here to defend this belt. For the second time, by the way, I can defend this belt anytime, anywhere. It doesn't matter if I just won it. It doesn't matter if I won it two weeks ago, two months ago, two years ago. I will be back to defend this. That's what I'm doing here today. I'm going to play my game. My game's the same if the belt's on the line, if the belt's not on the line. I play to win the game. That's what I'm here to do today. The thing with Dan is that I'm just he just remember. goes in always cool and calm. Dan hasn't had a three-round match the in about a year and a half. Riley or wow. Luka, or That's Riley insane. Again, or Levine, doesn't matter. I go wow. in to play the game. I win the game. I leave, and I wait for the fates to decide mm. who I'm going to play next. I'm well aware that no matter what happens, I'm in a lose-lose situation. That could go in his favor or lose, against him. And I decide I don't want to play anymore. It's like, oh, why would you? I mean, you, you jumped. Well, this is the five play. round, but I just well, played yeah, for a while, so. You didn't, you didn't mm -hmm. give me your heart. Not if I win, well, you must have certainly known all the questions. All the That's the only way you're going to beat Dan Merle. So, I don't know. you know, I, I'm, I'm used to it. I don't I'm know. Ready I'm just trying it. to feel like better I said, about myself. This is more about me and again, proving to I myself. Upset. I remember I said this in a collision reaction. I still mean this. I tied this anybody record. Anybody who says I this record, I'm not all about that records and numbers. Christian is rigging these games. I'm just focused on their records. I'm focused on how I play the game. As far as I'm concerned, I don't have anything left to prove. I've won this belt. You know what? I've lost this belt. I've won this belt back. I've defended this belt. I've done everything you can do in this game with this belt. Dan, it's going to be something today, man. I'm looking forward <laughs> to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. You and I have faced once before in teams. Everything now it's, it's you can one do with on that. one. It's a chance for the title. And I just want to see how I do stacked up against you. What better game could you want than the championship of the Schmodown playing the creator of the Schmodown? That's what this game is meant to be. It's meant to be a clash of the titans. It's meant to be a battle of the champions. I love the lead -in. That's what you're going to get here today. I just want it to end so I can...
watch the match because I'm so uh, get the match. Right I'm just so like, it's, oh, yeah. like oh, oh, God, God. it's almost like it's Christian over. doesn't want the belt right. so much as he just wants to measure himself up against the best yardstick this league has arguably ever seen <laughs> in Dan Merle. He's just curious how long he can last in the ring. Yeah, and Dan is up to the pressure. There's a lot of pressure being champ, Mark Riley. When you're out there defending the belt, not just lights on you, but sometimes <clears> it's per oh, personal man. pressure. Dan knows what it's like to defend. He knows what it's like to lose. So he also knows what it's like to regain. There's a lot going into this with Dan. I think he's he's comfortable and confident and calm. And yeah. that is almost eerie calm. That's the dangerous thing about Dan Merle is that he is calm. And he said in his pregame interview that he just, it doesn't matter who the competitor is. Mm -hmm. The game is the same. He's going to come. doesn't matter if it's Christian Harloff, Clark Wolf, myself, John Roca. He is going to play the game as the way he knows how to Mark play this Ellis. game. Yeah. yeah. Mark Ellis as well. <laughs> Do not forget Mark Ellis. Thank you very Apologies, much. Sir. It's fine as we go to the tail of the tape here. You look at the strengths of each competitor. Christian Harlow, obviously, the guy knows a lot about Star Wars action adventure and doing a passable Jason Statham impression and dangerous Dan Murrow. What doesn't this guy know? He's good on Oscars. He's good on Spielberg. He's good on drama, and he's good at everything in between. And making flannel work <laughs> <laughs> not the first not the last but definitely a great champion of both the movie trivia showdown and flannel speaking of champions one of the best voices i've ever heard like a strong songbird the eagle Ken Napsock, the eagle <laughs> well <laughs> all right that sounds what? like a retired golfer's nickname but we're gonna go with it here <laughs> all eagle. right <laughs> Oh, God. Like it's it time. It's it's time. Right. What's there the intro? Is it time to schmow down? Oh, Movie God. trivia? Was that what you want me to say, Mark? Go ahead and let that golden throat rip. All right. It's time <laughs> for the <laughs> Movie Trivia Schmodown <laughs> Championship Battle. Five rounds to a finish. Woo! Really? Oh. Yeah. Uh. The Challenger. Don't get it twisted. This representing Schmoto and Collider with a record of seven Damn. wins, three what defeats, and five kills. Hold on, Christian. Well done. Well done. Listen, well done. 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 Team champion of the world. Let's go. Give it to you. Look how they should have given it to you. Oh! Here we go. Nice and calm there. Look at that. He's got the shades on. Block the lights. I like this. He looks ready. Absolutely. And his opponent. Representing. Bring him back, John. Junkies. Best entrance music. With a record. Anyone ever uses. Of seven wins. Yeah. One defeat and <laughs> four disagree. knockouts. This just works so well. He is a 2016 Schmodown. No, it does, but Wild Man is still my favorite. Wild Thing is still my favorite. A, a wild Thing. Singles champion. Wild Thing. The <laughs> reigning, defending, Schmodown movie trivia champion of the world, Dangerous. Dan Merle. And here comes Merle. A sign of respect from Harlock standing. Yep. Mer oh, Merle just oh, okay. Respect. Not respect. respect. Merle is all business here. Two be sunglassed gentlemen. Merle gives Harlock this watch. Wow. An interesting turn of events. Wow. What is what this watch? <laughs> time it I is. Gave, uh, I gave Christian my watch so he knows his time's up. Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> like that, Christian, not known to wear a timepiece, but maybe that'll change Dan Merle with his oh, belt. Christian man. with his customary bottle of oh sparklets water, and we are about <laughs> yeah, ready well done. to well get done. going yeah. Yeah. Sponsor. here Coming as we get into the rules for round one. <laughs> Keep in mind, competitors, you need to pace yourself and hydrate because it is five rounds of movie trivia <laughs> mayhem. The first round Stay is hydrated. what you're used to. Eight questions from eight different movie categories. Once yes, you Alice, hear the I question, will. Please write down your answer on the whiteboard when prompted please show your answer here to the we go at the same time you verbalize it each question is worth one point there's no penalty for missing a question and there is no stealing in round one dan merle you are the champion are you ready for the championship match i'm always ready for the championship match he's ready to defend the belt and christian george harloff of schmoes oh, no fame are you ready to take that belt as et says ready 
I would thought he was going to go with a Be Good reference. Yeah. Yeah. And I love it. that reference. Then oh, yeah. Let's get ready to schmoda. Wow. Here we go. Yeah. Five Mark, Mark doesn't have his computer. Five rounds to a finish. Yeah. Round number Ten one. Ice. The questions will be ministered Let's by me this. and Mark Riley oh, to preserve baby. the integrity of the game. Mark Ellis has not been allowed to bring a laptop or look at any questions. In the Venn diagram of integrity and Mark Ellis, those two circles have never met. All right, gentlemen. <laughs> uh, round one, eight <laughs> questions. First question. Category He's is just here to comedies. make us laugh. Question is. Robert De Niro played Jack Walsh in what 1980s comedy flick? 1980s, 1980s flick. De Niro. Comedy in the 80s. Well, it's a bit right different. Get away with a little bit yeah, of I'm also not writing because I think this is right. Thomas, I hope yes. this is right. I have it's a lot. Right. De Niro. Four, three, two, this isn't right. one. Gentleman pens down. Dan Merle. King, King of comedy. comedy. 16 Candles? Incorrect. Ah, king of comedy. Uh, good guess. Nope. Midnight Run. <laughs> Midnight uh, Run. Uh, All right. Missing the first one. Cancel out the match. Yep. Cancel the match. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Midnight Run. Okay. Well, Girl, no perfect no round. Come on. All right. Yeah. Well, they started. All right, out with gentlemen. Heart, so. Your question two comes in the category of animated. In Beauty and the Beast, during the song Gaston, how many dozens of eggs did Gaston say he eats every day? As a grown man, so, yeah, uh, that, 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 that's a very uh, <laughs> that, that's seen a grown man cry. Three, two, and that one pens down. Christian Thank Harbaugh. I, 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 oh, that's correct. Wow. Dan Merle. I said three yeah. dozen. Oh! I believe he had three dozen as a child. Yeah. Child. Yeah. Child. Yeah. child. Four dozen as a child. Four five as a child. As a, as Christian Harloff yeah. goes up by one on the champ. All right. Early. 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 Question three. Early. Category is fantasy sci-fi in Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Two members of the League of Evil Exes have portrayed superheroes on the big screen. Name one of them. Name one? Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Um, can I just go for the obvious. <laughs> uh, no, no. Yes, go for the obvious. I was going to do both. Oh, I was going to. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. That's good. Yeah, long, this is one, one of my most favorite versions of all time. So I'm going to go for the obvious. Four, three, two, and one. We are going to go Chris Evans. Captain Evans America himself. Chris Evans. That's right. Chris Evans is the obvious yeah. one. Showing off. Just Chris to make sure. Chris Evans is the obvious one. one. That's oh, correct. That's oh, correct. Wow. Maybe a little Chris bit of showing off there. there. Just a little bit of showing the teeth. That's, right. That's, That's the other one. one. Yeah. Right. Two to yeah. one. Uh, one with Harlow. That's Harloff, the obvious one. one. That's Your hilarious. Your next question, gentlemen, is in I'll comic go with the book one. movies. Not that. The question. Who played Dr. Jonathan Crane, a.k.a. the Scarecrow, in Christopher Nolan's Batman films? Those great. are good films. Those I like good them. Films. Have I you like seen them, Ken? Oh, I have. Yeah, do any the of you guys ones. own hockey pads? Yes, <laughs> I do. Oh my I God, Ken! That's, 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 that's an Evan right there. Four, three, two, Beautiful. and one. Please, Killian, Killian Murphy. Murphy. Killian Murphy. Uh, Killian Murphy. Okay. That's correct. That's correct. Killian Murphy. That's correct. Three to two. Right. Three to two. Three Come on, Dan. Oh, so, yeah, Harloff, All right. Said, Harloff uh, got the five dozen eggs right, round. didn't he? Category yeah. is action yep. adventure. Okay. Yeah. Ong Bak was the 2003 breakout movie for what martial <gasps> artist? Oh. I know this. I love sure. these movies. Ong Bak was the 2003 breakout movie uh, this is for what martial artist? Awesome. This they isn't it. Martial artists are guys who I like think this is right. They uh, both have no idea. Very light I don't think it's this one. It, it's stacks. a different like, franchise that was his breakout hit, but I can't remember the other one. I don't know who else it would be. I had trouble putting on my socks this morning. Yeah. I'm doubt you're doubting yourself now, Chris. <laughs> I'm getting in your head. Four. I have no doubt. Two and one pens down. Donnie Yen. Tony Ja. Donnie Yen. Tony Ja. Incorrect. Correct. I'm wrong too. Chung Yang. Tony Jaa. Uh, no, Tony Jaa. Tony, Tony Jaa. Ja. Well done. Right. Uh, tough one. Tough one. That's a championship level question. Yeah, we are this is getting. These are hard two. questions. Yeah. Yeah. Next question, so, gentlemen, is in Marshall the category. Right, not my championship. It's a championship. Thriller. It should be hard questions. <laughs> right. Question is, which Wes Craven horror film was remade in 2006 and oh. focuses on a family of cannibals? 
Ellis, quick question. If yeah. in a pinch, which one of us would you eat? And the original oh, was released in 1977. So I do have classic. a good midsize right now. Yeah. A lot of meat there. Yeah, yeah. I feel like Mark Riley's the Morton steak, and Ken is somewhat of a 7-Eleven <laughs> big guy. That's true. <laughs> Five, four, three, oh my gosh. two, and one. <laughs> Christian Harlan. The, the, the Hills have eyes. The Hills have eyes. The Hills have eyes. That's Damn it. Tie the game. Oh, ties it up. That was a. Oh, man, Christian. Come on, bro. You might oh, oh, oh. in the morning over that. One, All right. Seventh I don't question do horror. in the first round. Seventh question in the first some round. Horror. Category is 90s movies. Uh, question is Gene Hackman plays Captain Frank Ramsey in what flick? Um, oh. You, you know, true, no. true fact, born. No. That ain't it. Years of Ow. Really? Oh. Came out of. Four, um, three, two, one. Wow. No. Christian Harlock. Crimson it's not. I was correct. Crimson Tide. Crimson Tide. Correct. Oh. Crimson tie. Oh. correct. Oh. Crimson tie game. I, I was. I was halfway through writing World Tenenbaums. I went. No, Tenenbaums is his last name. Fuck. What else is there? All right, guys. Next question. In the category of dramas, who played FBI Special Agent Richard Dolores in 2016's Patriots Day? Oh. So these are championships. These are championships. I hope these this is not a script up uh, question. Ooh, it was yeah. tough. The writers clearly know this is tough. a belt on the line here. I Five, think this four, is the right three, character. two, I don't think and it is. one. Well, I've got Wahlberg? Kevin Bacon? J.K. Simmons? Yeah. Wahlberg. Wahlberg was just a call. Wahlberg was just a call. Oh, baby. That's what I'm talking about. This is a time where we are tied up, and that is the last question of the first round. This is the last time we saw Dan just go four in the first round. Like, wow. That were the very, very tough questions. And that shit I scored better than they did. Where fates can change and fantasies can come to life before your very eyes. Four, I think. I think that was the wheel round. Here's how it works. Each competitor gets a spin at their wheel. If you don't like the category you spun, you Case, are you're a champion one in my heart. Mulligan, at which point well, you have you, to Chris. answer four that. questions from whatever category <laughs> the wheel happens to land on each I'm question. Sorry is worth two points. If you're not sure of the answer, you can check to multiple choice, at which point the value of the question goes down to one. Keep in mind, competitors, there is stealing in round two. Since we are tied, Dan Merle, the onus is on Please you. Would you prefer to spin that wheel or allow DMX to have the first shot? I'll give DMX <laughs> the first shot. Uh, you don't uh, want to cross uh, DMX. Right, Damn it. Well, all right. It is. All right. Here we go. Harloff with a big spin. Finish twist. Good go. spin. Good spin. Oh, there we go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's no tough. It's tough. Spin. Oh. Drama. Oh. Drama. Okay. That's Drama. not a bad one to do. I think that's not a bad one for him. Drama for your mama. But it take it. He's going to oh. take oh. it. Oh. Right. He's going to take it. He's going to take it. Schwarzenegger. Yeah. He's so good at that. You know, you know what? Yeah. It's because he practices. Yeah, a lot. Day in and day out, his poor family. <laughs> All right, uh, Mark Riley's going to mention the questions for you, Christian Harlow. All right, Christian, we are in the category of dramas. Your first question. What actor plays Detective McPhee, who takes part in killing the man in the bathroom in the movie Witness? Spoiler alert. Um, is it Viggo Mortensen? Incorrect. Oh, correct. Shit. Dan Merle for the steal. The one where they put his head in a bag and suffocate him. Five, four, Harrison Ford. Three. Oh no, it's no Harrison Ford. That's why we were looking for Danny Glover. Danny Glover. Danny Glover. Uh, Danny Glover. Oh, the right competitor's movie. getting too old for this shit. We are Don't still so. tied <laughs> at four. <laughs> and Christian shit. Harloff, what, what your second I question <laughs> is coming at you now. Who co-stars with Robin Williams as Albert, his guide in the afterlight in the movie What Dreams uh. May Come? Multiple choice. Uh. Multiple Jesus, choice. these are tough, a, these are tough questions today. B, yeah. Denzel Washington. C, Cuba. Cuba James Gooding Jr. Cuba Gooding Jr. Cuba Gooding Jr. Cuba Gooding Jr. That's correct. That's okay. All right. Yeah. All right. We got a, a point. Goes up. One. These questions are And we go to the third question in the category of drama. Good. What uh, actress Chris Galisky did well. Jason well Patrick done. Brad Pitt as an adult in the film Sleepers. Female uh, or male? What actress? Actress. 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 Mini Driver. That's, That's correct. correct. Wow. Oh. Nice. He knew all the friends in that yeah. movie. I sure it was did. a female actress. That was, uh, uh, that's a bit of a... Next question. Uh, anyway. In the Grand Budapest I'll Hotel, many of the Lutz police militia have an image of what animal's head on their hats? Oh. Lion. I've only seen it once. 
Uh, nah, he knows it. Give me multiple choice. All right, your multiple choice answers are A, owl, B, lion, C, wolf, D, be bear. Owl. Beer. Incorrect. Incorrect. Uh, Dan Merle for the steal. I go for beer. Quizzical look Every time. We are gonna need an answer. Bear. That is incorrect. We are looking for a wolf. Oh, oh. It a wolf! It was a we wolf. Right. There's fast the stock. Sheep's stock. clothing. <laughs> all right. Is that it? Now that is all for Christian Harloff in round two, but he does have the lead. Wow. Seven wow. to four. Please do not. Sorry, I'm so used to being tournaments Dan that we're at Earl, six points. Dan you are six off. You've first minute. It is now time for you to be in the spotlight. Give that four. baby a toss. Uh, I've never said that before. Spin from oh, no. Dan. Spin from Dan. Spin from Dan. A lot of power with one-handed spin. spin That's there. right. He, That's he a just, spin that has been going. there before. Yeah, he Lots knows. Of practice. And a lefty, too. I don't, I don't Here know. we go. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh. 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 oh! oh! That can change the game, or he can oh. overcome it. It's and not do all it's right. Not wow. He knows everything. Come on. Sports movies. Sports movies. Dear God. Sports movies. It is up to the favorite or the champion in this case to decide whether they want opponents and spinners' choice on her. I don't know sports either, So, Christian, Dan Merle did decide to have opponents and spinners' choice on there. This is this is his own knife, perhaps digging into his back. What category would you like to make him answer questions from? The problem is, I know, that's a problem. Nah, there's Thriller in there. He knows Thriller. Go to, uh, this is, this is he does you know a lot. Give me sports. Sports. Yeah. Sports. Yeah. Sports. Yeah. Sports. Yeah. Sports. 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 All right. Drama would have been the other right. order. Oop. All right. Oh my God. All right. On that wheel, Dangerous Dan Merle. Christian Harloff has selected sports for you. You're going to get four questions in this Jeez. round. You do have multiple choice. Question one. Who played enthusiastic linebacker Alan Bosley in Remember oh, the Ryan Gosling. Yes. Multiple choice. A. Donald Faison. B. Ryan Gosling. C. Ryan Hurst. D. Craig Kirkwood. We we'll go with the one name you can remember. Faison. Incorrect. Incorrect. Ryan Gosling. That's yes, that's for a steal. Oh, this steal. Wow. Big steal. That's a good one there. That's right. Four point lead for Harlow. <laughs> All right, Mr. Murrow. Second question. Wow. What film follows the perfect match. game performance of an aging baseball star, and what could be his final game of professional the, baseball? The rookie. The rookie. No, the question. natural. Sure. What natural. film follows oh, the perfect okay. game performance of an aging yeah, baseball star, and what could be his it. final game in professional right, baseball? Right, right. The natural. For love of the game. That is correct. correct. Two oh, boys. no. Okay. Wow. Wow. Might have been the one oh, that gets God. Merle woke no, in the Wade was in another oh, movie. Kevin Costner. John C. Riley, his catcher. All right. Question three. In Happy Gilmore, what fast food chain uh, does Gilmore Subway. become a spokesperson for? Subway sandwich. <laughs> that oh, two right. big points. He ties it up. <laughs> that, that is why he is <laughs> dangerous. As it turns out, a better spokesperson than Jared after all these years. Oh! <laughs> decorum. Decorum. <laughs> Final question of the Alice. round. Dan. Wow. Against Alice. which team he did Notre there. Dame's Daniel Rudy Rudiger get a sack against in the motion picture Rudy? No. Multiple choice. A, Army, B, Pitt, C, Miami, Georgia D, Georgia, Georgia Tech. Tech. Yeah, I think. I got no idea. Incorrect. Georgia Tech. That's Georgia. correct. That's, for correct. Oh! That's a big steal. That's a big steal All because right. now Harlock retains the lead at 9-8. to eight. Now we move on Holy to round shit. three, it's and it's going to be a little bit of a different wow. circumstance. Wow. This is known as the betting round, Ooh. and Christian in the lead is going to give this that deal one more spin. Whatever category it lands on, we'll have one Question. Once you see the category, the this, competitors this are going to be able to wager between zero and three points. Depending yeah, on the exactly. Yes. We will then ask I think I'm going to have a fucking heart you attack. You how many points you wagered <laughs> after the answer. I should, I, should have, uh, I should have had a blunt before I started this recording. <laughs> Right. It's looking like it could be 90. Oh my oh. god! Oh. So now Christian 
Justin Harlock into whatever uh, category he wants. He is sports. Hey, remember, remember, right the last right time in a champion sports. Wow. Okay. In a championship fight, to each write down the how many opponent's like spinner's choice came on. He, the champ, the the, the person who got spinner's choice lost. Well, they both answer this question. Yeah. We have, yeah. Uh, we have Dennis Zen on the side. Dennis Zen. No, but, yeah, I was just still. I don't trust many people here, but don't call it. Don't. Don't trust worthy person in this office here. All right. The the bets are down. Uh, your guys, uh, your guys' question is as follows. I'll read it. In 1993's Rookie of the Year, what team were the Chicago Cubs playing against in the film's big game, the final game of the regular season? Christian knows yeah. this. That is a tough um, question. He doesn't. Dan doesn't either. That's one I've ever heard. No, yes. I've heard a lot of them. I did repeat know the, the question. Numbers. Sure, sure. In That's his second rookie both, of the year. Wow. It should technically be his third, but that's well, definitely his second. Game. The final game. If there was a lot of season. outside noise or something, they'll they'll repeat stuff. All right. Yeah. Without Without a repeat. No, but he asked, was it wet? Did he, he, he said actress? To, uh, like he what? Said male or female? We didn't hear the first part. Question. Two. He wagered two, two, two in the points. category of sports, and your answer was? Wrote the Oakland A's? No. <laughs> Incorrect. Incorrect. <laughs> Merle goes down to six. So as of right now, Harloff enjoys wow. a three-point lead. Christian, how many points? He could have it. Three. three. And oh your my answer? Gosh. Cardinals. Oh. You're going to be down three points. Uh, Incorrect. Correct answer oh. was the New York <laughs> Mets. The New York oh. Mets, and now we are oh tied God. going into round four. Yeah, we are oh. lighting this up. Yeah. Right. Hey, if and you don't know Rookie of the Year better, that's why you're in this position. <laughs> we move on. To the speed oh round. God. This is where we can really get the hot tub frothing because we're going to ask the field five questions. As soon as the question is asked, here we go. Part this of the is question is buzzes. asked. You feel no. confident in the answer. Buzz. You may buzz in. Once you buzz in, you have exactly two seconds from the time I say your name to answer the question. If you do not get it, even if you had the correct answer outside of that two seconds, you will lose a point. All right, gentlemen, are you ready? All right, your first question in the speed round is, what are Simon Pegg and Nick Frost's the profession cops. in hot fuzz? Dan Merle. Cops. That is correct for one point. Officers. Question two. Whatever. <laughs> what 1989 <laughs> comedy stars John Travolta, Kirstie oh, Alley, uh, and a baby with the voice? Look who's talking. Oh! Correct. Yes. That's right. Wow. Question three in the speed round. Uh, who voiced the title geez. character in Fantastic George Mr. Clooney. Fox? George Clooney. George. Dan Merle. Bill Murray. And oh! Oh! Disappointed, and it was George Clooney. So now Harlow on seven to six. Two speed round questions I remain. I like the little right, sound guys, effect on the buzzers questions. now. Which movie was the feature film directorial debut of F. Gary Gray? Harlow. Italian oh. job. Incorrect. Oh. Damn it. It was not <laughs> false either. It was Friday, <laughs> and it's now six to six. One speed round Still question six remaining. Six to six. Right, like, guys, what the fuck? This God, this is a championship. This is so close. This is amazing. Who plays Captain Stephen Hiller's fighter pilot? Dan Merle. Harry Connick Jr. Uh -oh. that's wow! No, I was counting. That was that's correct. That was oh my! That was, right. that was that. barely within two. Dan yeah. Merle gets the point. Wow. It is now seven to six as we move on to the oh fifth gosh. round. What a hotly contested match! Is right. Nobody yeah. getting that's, questions right yeah. here in the championship match. Thing? Round five. It was. It was. Don't worry. Oh my God. The, only, the only way we can go to a tiebreaker I'll, I'll, I'll is. I'll challenge it. I want to see if someone out there thought it was more than that. I'd like All to bring right, in the challenge. We have a challenge uh, on the field. Uh, misses two, but hits the three, and um, Bro uh, hits two, but not the three, and they both. Hang on. He might not get that point. He might lose After it. After consulting That's with a happens. panel of judges of various blood alcohol levels, we have decided <laughs> that we will ask another question. Okay. Ken Nassau okay. kept reading the question. Okay. Thus, it gave Merle a little bit too much insight into what the answer may have <laughs> oh, been. So we have a new speed round it. question like that is going to be asked right. once again. This okay. is the last No, but it was also the timing. Before we are it, was, yeah. it was more than two seconds. All right, guys. Yeah. Fifth Lordy, and final Lordy, question. Lordy. Who portrayed the role of Texas Ranger LaBeouf in the 2010 remake? Matt Damon. Uh, Matt, yeah, Damon. Matt Damon. That's correct. Yes! yes! All Woo! right, so big swing there nice. with the Harlock Challenge. Nice. It is now 7 to 6 oh, going thanks. into round five. Either way, at this, this point, either way, I think I lose. This is a crazy championship Whoever match wins, that has I think very little points being scored, but a whole so... lot of drama in store for us. 
Now we move on to the final round, final round barring here. overtime. And for the and record, guys, if Harloff does win this, I am shutting off my mic, so that way you all don't have to hear me scream at the top of my lungs. 20. <laughs> Each one of those categories corresponds to a movie category up here. I don't the know how we, we will points. handle this. The second question is worth three points. Well, it can't, it, it, it cannot possibly come to, no the only way, sorry, it can. Only your legacy. It can only, it can come to a tiebreaker if. Harloff, you are winning by one point. So yeah, what the are the three numbers you would like to have? Uh, uh, seven, yeah. one, and... and then so they, they both, both have... Yeah. One has to miss seven, a two, one, and one has to miss a three, three. and that ain't happening. Well, numbers. Good numbers. they're Odd at numbers six and odd. seven. A lot, of fans a lot has happened one. in this match that I don't think right, any of us Dan, thought would happen in this match. Uh, 16, 8, Dan hits a two, and so ready, 15. impossible. Ooh, I thought he was going all even. <laughs> wow. wow, I love that last Going all evens. Wow. Oh, Curveball man. There. Right. Coming back around all right. 15. Dan Merle, Thank you. you are going to receive the first, the first question. This is the two-point question for Dan Merle to take the lead. All right, Dan, I'll be asking this question. Two-point question. You chose the number 16, which is fantasy sci-fi. Okay. Two-point question. Good for him. John Carter takes place Mars. on Earth and Mars. Mars. That's okay. Great. Two points. Okay. No, no tiebreaker. No, no tiebreaker. No, I can Dan see Merle why he was confused then, uh, because it, it could have been Basum. Basum. Oh, Basum. Like, they might have thought it was H. that. Christ, what is Christian's first question? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Christian, your first number was the number seven, and that corresponds to the category of Scorsese films. Ah, okay. Scorsese? Scorsese. Okay. He is a director. Your two-point question. What was Henry Hill selling when he got arrested the first time as a kid in the movie Goodfellas? Smoke. Cigarettes. That is correct. Wow. Oh. Christian Ed, Ed, Harloff. Weird trivia Please. question. I've arrested Henry Hill as well. This is not good for my <laughs> health. Uh, let's cancel the match and hear that story. <laughs> yeah. I did not know that. I'm fine with that. So now we move back to Dan. I, I, I'm going to stop the match right now. Answering. Your three-point question administered by Henry Hill's latest arrestee, Ken Knapsack. <laughs> All right, you're down by one. You're going to need a three-point. You chose, Dan, the number eight. That is Meryl Streep. Oh, boy. Ooh. Meryl Streep. Meryl oh, Streep. She's not All been right. in a three million point movies question. or anything. Who directed Meryl in Ricky and the Flash? Oh, my God. God. Nope. Oh, no. It's the guy who did Hope Springs. Four, That's all I know. I don't even know who did that. Two. Nora Ephron. Incorrect. She's dead. Incorrect. It's Jonathan Demi. Jonathan <laughs> Demi. Demi. Oh, and now with Dan oh, Merle trailing, he is going to be forced to answer oh his five oh, point question. Oh my god. If Dan oh Merle gets this right, we go How back to How is this Christian a championship Harloff, match? It could literally end at eight to nine. <laughs> if Dan Merle misses this, then it's Christian the Harloff, people. the commissioner, is also the new champion oh of the movie oh, Trivia oh, Schmodown. All right, oh Dan Merle, you chose number 15. That is the category of horror thriller. Oh horror oh thriller. Oh, no. Five-point question. Put you in the lead. Put this Come back on. in Christian's court. He knows the stuff here. What is the name of the bartender in The Lloyd. Shining? Lloyd. Oh. That's correct. Wow. Wow. That is why he is so dangerous. He right. nailed that one. Well, now he will can miss this one. And he has Dan to get Merle. the five. He, he has to get Ghost bartenders in one of his Three many travels. Matter. And five. now we go back to Christian Harloff, who really has a practice question here. It's worth three points. It's not really going to matter if you get it right either way. But Depends it's going to be like All right. Thanks. Hi. All right, Christian Harloff, your next question. <laughs> Three points. You chose the number one corresponds to the category of war films. Oh, God. <sighs> Who directed The Great Escape? Oh, oh shit. I forgot. I forgot. Is that your final no, no, shot no. no shot in the dark. Huh? No, it, it doesn't matter. Okay. The answer we were <laughs> looking for is question. John Sturgis. Yeah. John Sturgis. John Sturgis, yeah. John Sturgis yeah, of course. <laughs> and John Carter was from Mars. Here we go. With the five point question, jokes. if Christian Harloff gets this, he is the new champion of the movie trivia Schmodown. If he misses it, Dan Merle keeps that shiny belt. No pressure here, gentlemen. Right, right. All right, Christian Harloff, we move back to you for your five point question. You chose the number 13. That corresponds to the category of Disney films. Oh, shit. Oh, for all the Marvels. Come on. For the belt. Yes, Come on, good. Disney. 
come through for him. Which veteran actor lent his talent to J.K. Simmons? J.K. Come on! J.K. Simmons! Come on! Oh no. Oh no. Repeat the question. Oh my gosh. Well played. Oh my Which gosh. Veteran actor lent his talents to Zootopia as the voice of Mayor Lionheart. Come on. JK Simmons. <laughs> no way out! Some, some some stuff in the middle of the rounds where they were back and forth, back and forth. It comes down to the end, maybe as it should for a championship. <laughs> Mark Riley, how is he able to pull that last question out? Uh, well, Everyone, the fact that he has a small daughter and I apologize. watches Disney movies might have I apologize. the fact that he knew that answer. He played it well, though. He played. It. He wanted to make sure he did the mm -hmm. great JTE rule, and he asked the question again so he could get his thoughts there. That's a sign of a true competitor. Knows how to play the game. And now we have a new champion. Wow. We have a new champion, Ken and Mark, and now we go to both the <laughs> new champion here for the post-game interviews hosted by Emma Fife. Uh, Christian was very clear about the fact that this was a retirement match for him. Oh, uh, what no! What knew, except for me, was that this was a double retirement match. No! 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 A long no, time no, ago no, that no, uh, the next no, time no, I lost no. this belt, It'd be time to step away from the game. The commission doesn't know about this. Nobody knows about this. But I have decided that it is time to step away from the Schmodown for a while. I will be back, but there's a lot of new blood down there. There's a lot of people that want that belt. And I think now is the perfect time to give all of them a shot at it. So this is breaking wow. news. I don't even like, know. This is unbelievable. What Let's give it up for Dangerous Dan Unbelievable. Oh, wow. I stepped down. We got a new champion, and then Dan Merle is joining in the retirement Everybody. party. Oh, Absolutely. There's gonna be shit. A lot of Everybody's <laughs> gonna want that belt, and me oh, included. There's a whole Every, new landscape like, here in the movie trivia show. For more insight on both so the match and this incredible announcement players. afterwards. We now go to Emma Fight. <laughs> What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? Oh Emma Fight God, here with the commissioner so and now the uh, Movie Trivia Schmodown champion of the world, Christian no. Harlov. It's weird. It is. It's <laughs> weird. You're, doing, you're doing double uh, duty here. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. I mean, it's so many things go through your head. It's just like the competitor. I'll be honest. The first time in 2014 when we played, there wasn't all of this. Right. So all I wanted to do yeah. was I wanted to be... I wanted to win it. I wanted to win the whole thing, and that was it, and bragging rights, and I wanted to play Mark Riley. Makuga did the Blue Fairy thing. It was over. It was done. But now with all this, it's like, you know, I always hear the comments or I hear the things, but then couple that with, hey, by the way, because I was just talking to Jay Washington. He's like, well, Vince did it too. I said, yeah, but Vince never retired Stone Cold Steve Austin. So when I'm sitting up there as, <laughs> as I'm doing it, like, no, I'm not playing anymore. I'm like, oh, man, I wish I wouldn't have won. <laughs> I want to see Dan play. I love watching Dan play. Yeah, absolutely. Man, as you bring up, when the showdown started back in 2014, there wasn't all of this pop and circumstance, and you didn't have all of these incredible new competitors coming in, as Dan Merle alluded to, as he announced his retirement, which was a shocker to all of us. How are you feeling about that? It, it uh, you know, he he had told me he had told me at the spectacular last year that. He's like, well, it's before he played Ellis. He's like, I just want to let you know that. What do you think, like, if, if I don't win tonight, that I step back? And I go, I don't ever want you to step back. He's like one of my favorite competitors to watch. Ellis said it at the table, and it's completely true. I just wanted to see how long I could go with him. I had no intention of winning this. I had no intention of doing that at all. And to hear that I'm stepping back, it's like, I can't wait. I told him, I, you'll see it. In the, when I, I hugged him, I go, I'm going to get you back. So mm -hmm. he, he's, he'll I, I'll get him to play again. Good. So then what is Good. what is the plan moving forward uh, without Dan Merle and now with on. you with the belt? When when are we going to see this belt on the line next? Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'll be completely honest with you. The Dan Merle thing threw me off because I was I was planning on just saying that's it. That's the last match. And and giving Dan Merle the number one contender spot at the spectacular and letting him play against whoever, you know, 
was the the finalist and didn't win. And then I don't know what to do anymore. I was gonna maybe put the thing up on the line and let the let them all battle it out at the ultimate showdown, but I feel like I gotta defend it against the winner. I feel Thank like you. that yes. is definitely Good. true. And I also yes. feel yeah. like your daughter Good. might have Good. had something to do with okay. you answering that last question correctly. Um, Spectacular. It, it's gonna it be did, amazing. And also this year. when I left this morning, oh, she was very aware. She's five and a half. She's very aware. She's like, Dada, will you be champion today? And, and I called her this morning. And she's like, Did you win the match? And I was like, I haven't played yet. And I was, and I'm like, and I feel like I'm, I'm not beating Dan, honey. So uh, don't get too excited. You have got a better chance of getting a dog tomorrow. Um, oh she getting she a, dog a dog tomorrow. tomorrow. That's true. Well, I'm sure she will be very happy to hear from you. You should probably go call her right away and share the good oh, news. So cute. Congratulations, Christian. Thank you. You can. Can't call it what it is. It's it's weird. It is. It's it, it is. <laughs> but we still love you, and we will be right back with the person who is still a winner in our hearts, but lost the match today. Dangerous Dan Merle. And we this, are back oh. with Dangerous Dan Merle, who surprisingly <laughs> didn't pull out a victory today. Dan, it's, this is unusual for you. Yeah, I mean, I think the real congratulations goes to Bibiani because I think he pulled ahead on all the stat sheets after that performance. That was. Uh, that was rough. That was the hardest game I've ever played, and obviously that was the worst game I've ever played. But. Yeah, it was a low-scoring game all around, but I think that it just is a reflection on how difficult the questions were, not the skill level of the competitors. Well, the questions were tough, but you know, the questions are always tough. I think that uh, you know, I'm not sad to go out on a loss. I was prepared for that. I just wish I, I wish I personally could have performed a little better, uh, just to make it a better game. You know? Right. Absolutely. I mean, considering that apparently in your head you knew from the start of this game that you were going to shock the world and tell us all that you were retiring. Would yeah. you like to elaborate on what prompted you to make this decision? Uh, I've been thinking about it a long time. The triple threat was a retirement match for me. Um, I, you know, I just looking at, but you know, for me, beating Roka was the last little bit of uh, unfinished business on my board. I, I wanted to come back and do that and kind of and kind of dot the, the period on the end of that sentence. And uh, I decided that uh, the next time that I lost the belt, whenever it was, would be when I retired. And I think it's actually great timing because I see the league now. I see how it's shifting. I see all these new faces. The dynamics are shifting. And it seemed like perfect timing to really shake things up. And I love to watch all of these other guys play the game. And uh, I think the tournament this year is going to be great. I can't wait to see who goes through it, who advances. If, uh, if they're playing the commish. I don't know who they're going to be playing. I don't know who's going to play for the belt. I think it'd be fun to see somebody other than myself, Mr. Roka and Riley, uh, hoisting that belt above their head. We just got our first one today. Who are some of the competitors that you think might have a chance? Uh, I mean, everyone's always talking about Viviani. Everybody's always talking about Weenie. Uh, to me, though, I think it's always the people you don't expect. I mean, it's this this if any if this match proves anything, it's that the conventional wisdom and how you think people are going to do and what you expect out of a yes. match, it is thrown out the window the second that first question is asked. I don't think anybody would have predicted that today's match would have gone the way that it did, but it did, and that's how I play every game. You don't know what every game has in store. As far as I'm concerned, every single one of them is a clean slate. Absolutely, and none of us know what's in store now for the future of the Schmodown because Christian Harloff, the commissioner who did defeat you today, was going to offer you that number one contender spot at the Schmodown Spectacular. Now, he says that he he wants to go at it with you again. Would you reconsider? Would you come back to the Schmodown sometime to face off against Commissioner Christian Harloff? I mean, I love the Schmodown, and I, I am going to take a break, but I think if history sells anything, it's that uh, it's hard for fighters to walk away from the game. So I, I don't think it's out of the question to say that I might be back someday. I don't know when that's going to be. I don't know how it's going to be. My advice would be that if you are carrying that belt on your shoulder, uh, like Mr. Harloff is right now, maybe take a look over the other shoulder, because one day I might be there. Well, again, Dan Merle, like you've been a wonderful That's competitor here in the Schmodown, <laughs> multiple time Schmodown champion. We all just think the world of you. And I want to thank the Schmodown fans who, you know, I came over from Screen Junkies to do this. My first match was against Campia a, a year and a half ago, and they have been so nice and cool and gracious and and kind, except for some of the D-bags on, uh, you know, Facebook. But that's all right. They're the, they're the minority. 98% of the Schmodown fans have been incredible. So I want to thank them for being Rock on, brother. and watching this thing. And coming over that is accurate, 98%. It's been, it's been I think that's fun. the correct percentage. I love percentage. this game. I love playing this game. And we love having you here, and we'll continue to support you in all that you do. Good luck with your uh, your t before, retirement. Before, before you do, before you do, I was able to, if you don't mind, go ahead and stand there for one second. 
So, like I did when there was, uh, you know, a after the collision, we had our conversation, and I said it then, I say it now, you are the best that has ever played the game. You are my friend. You are someone that I can, I have to thank you from the bottom of my heart for helping build all of this. Without someone like you, this doesn't mean anything. It means shit, because you it does, because being able, I felt like I was in, uh, playing a video game against like the, the, no, Mike Tyson's punch out. Where, how are you going to beat Mike Tyson? And I got lucky with the, some cheat codes. So um, thank you. It doesn't mean I cheated, you assholes. But you know what I mean. It's like the fact that like, it, it, I just wanted to thank you very much for helping uh, us do this. When I say that, I want to see you back. I understand. I understand I want to step back, but I want to see you back. We'll see. Maybe one day. We'll see. Dangerous Dan Merle, the greatest of all time. Thank you so much, Dan, for everything. And thank you, Emma. She's the best. <laughs> all right. Back to those guys. I mean, look at it right there. It's it's not a it's not a contrived setup. It's not anything that even the commissioner knew about. Dangerous Dan Merle retiring. But before we get to that, Ken and Mark, yeah. Christian Harloff is the new champion, and I would say a worthy one of the movie trivia showdown. I've said it time again. I've said it up top. You cannot count him out mm -hmm. he's got into this business for a reason this is a kid who watched movies every day of his life growing up and this has to be a proud moment there's going to be a lot of pressure on him it's it's uh it's it's tough to run this thing and also lead this thing in the field and he has the belt now regardless that's right riley you know kind of compare how christian was reacting to that interview the very first time he got to hold that singles title belt what was it like for you the first time well it's something when uh, when the weight hits your shoulder after you've gone through what you've gone through whether it's a match like that or building your way up by win after win it is something to take in and I could see it in his face, and he deserves it. My God, he is now on the Mount Rushmore of the Schmodown, perhaps. Absolutely, with a new champ, Mark, and, and, and with Mark Riley stepping aside a bit, Dan Merle stepping aside a bit. In Game of Thrones, there's something in the history called the Age of Heroes, and the current characters t look back at that age as where all the heroes rose up and saved Westeros. We will look back to Dan Merle, Mark Riley, these guys as the Age of Heroes, as a new generation reaches for these titles. Nobody read those books, Ken, but I will tell you this, before we <laughs> say goodbye here i mean the dan murrow retirement that doesn't seem like anything that was just thought up spot is spot no. of the, this is I really something that he had plotted way. out and really wanted for a long time yeah and i know the feeling because when you've played as long as he has as i have as a lot of us here in this room have yeah, it can take a toll but it, it's nice to see all the new faces now because there is blood in the water that belt now is on the line christian harloff is going to have to do a hell of a time to defend it and these people these competitors they're going to come at it this is a shock to me the score was 14 to 13, like a 1960 <laughs> AFL matchup. I don't even know if the AFL was around that, but the movie trivia showdown is alive and well here. Christian Harloff is the new champion for all the latest goings on in the league. Make sure you guys check out the showdown rundown on iTunes and request to be a member of the movie trivia showdown Facebook page. We now hey, turn it I over it to Joshua Hercules Makuga, <laughs> Pittsburgh <laughs> Superman, for the latest fantasy updates. What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? Josh McCougie here with your fantasy update. Post-Christian Harloff, Dan Murrow, the champ has been defeated. He is retired. If you had him in your fantasy league, you should probably drop him. These are not keeper leagues. He may return at some point down the line, but I don't foresee it anytime soon. On the flip side, if you have Christian Harloff, keep him. He is huge trade bait right now, but let me tell you this. Because of all of his matches, and all of his matches are championship matches. That means he's going to play less often, which may be a good way to trade. Am I spoiling alert? Am I doing this? I said, Private Pile, you keep your mouth shut. Don't you break. <laughs> don't you break. Don't you damn break. If you break, I swear to God, I will rip your ear off and stick my finger into your skull. Feel like your pain. Listen to me. And you listen good. You listen real good. This is a fantasy update. Wow. And if you treat your fantasy league like Cody Hall treats not breaking right now, you have a good chance of taking it down. When does the fantasy season end? The fantasy season ends at the like Schmodown Spectacular. Them so start laugh. racking up points. You need point getters. You need point holders. You need to drop Dan Merle. You need to trade some people. You need to make some effing moves. Drop Cody Hall doesn't roll. care about anything. Bad all he cares part. about is not breaking right now. For all your fantasy needs, make sure to check out Schmodown.com and talk to Frank Janish. There's also a Schmodown Rundown hosted by... I can nap sock every Thursday live on Facebook Live. Inside and there's Schmodown also, down. is that, is, is that what it is? Inside Schmodown, I apologize. Inside <laughs> Schmodown. Inside Schmodown! Did you just break private Cody? <laughs>
Inside Schmodown live every Thursday. And of course, the Schmo blog, Schmodown blog guys, I believe they're over in England. They're doing a hell of a job writing about us, making us look cool. I'm Josh McCuga. This is Private Hall. We'll see you next time Private on Hall. the Movie Trivia Schmodown. Hand my microphone to Comster. Go back on camera. Oh. Hey. Oh, what's up, champ? <laughs> what's going on with you, champ? Ah, uh, it's weird. I know. It's uh, weird. Very weird, especially sitting next to you. Yeah. Oh. Um, okay. So, wonder what the hell I'm doing? I'm wondering what the <laughs> hell you're doing. <laughs> well, oh, we got the fatal five way. Oh. Yeah. Single string was brought to you. That's by right. Way, very strange that you're not in it. This year. I know. It feels a little weird. It's, weird. it's like it's like uh, amputating it a, a leg. You feel the tingles. So you get a lot of color in your face. Like you're excited. You're not competing. I'm excited. I'm, yeah. I'm taking a break. All right. So Sorry. anyway, I'm putting all these contenders in here, right? Okay. A lot of different contenders who have competed over the course of a couple seasons. I wanted to give everybody a chance here to try to get into <laughs> the tournament. Yeah. So the winner plays Roca in the first round. And um, yeah, so this is it. We're gonna find out because Hector Navarro couldn't do it because of his schedule. Okay. But you are gonna do me the honors. Okay. All right. You ready? Yeah. All I'm right, ready. So hold on. Let I me just sound, switch it up. It's a fair and scientific very, approach to this. Whole I figured how to do it this way. Very yeah. scientific. Fair, simple, very easy. Scientific. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. okay. I'm gonna don't pick. Don't show it to the camera, right? No, don't show it to the camera. Okay. I'm gonna show it to you. Oh wait. Don't show it to the camera. Ooh. That. That's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. I think that person might have a chance. I think I think so too. All right. I think well, so too. that person is in. I know now who exactly is going to be in the Fatal Five on Tuesday. The winner will play Roca that's in the first Tuesday. round. Yeah. Man, that's. Um, I wish yeah. I could tell everybody right now who's going to be in it, but I'll say the surprise. I wish you Tuesday. could. But check I it out. Really it's wish Tuesday, you could. and thank you guys Christian. for checking out the match today. I what am honored. Troll. Thank you to Dan Merle. <laughs> uh, thank you to all you guys. Thank you to the angry commenters who I'm sure have commented, and uh, to the, the, the great <laughs> commenters and all the fans on the movie trivia showdown. Thank you guys so much. I kid. I, we love you. And this is uh, this is something. That is something. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Just... wow. Okay. Yes, I I had to I had to do <coughs> myself for that one. Cause yeah. I am so jacked right now. I am so jacked. <laughs> he did it. He did it. He did it. He did it. That beautiful <laughs> son of a bitch did it. <sighs> okay. Now, Dan Merle put up one hell of a fight, and I am sad as hell that he re he's retiring. But that being said, I couldn't have asked for a better match. Sure, I w sure, selfishly, I wanted a higher scoring match, but I couldn't have asked for a better match for a new champ to come in, a completely new champ to come in, and for Dan Merle to say goodbye on. But Jacob, as... Merle supporter in this match. What are your thoughts? I don't care that he lost. Like, I like it, it hurts that he lost and it sucks. But to to lose Dan like that, like then that's that's Dan done. No build up. No su uh, just a surprise of hey, Dan's no longer playing anymore for the foreseeable future. It's going to be you know a while before he's back and look, he probably won't come back. He hopefully he's in the free for all next year. I doubt it, but that's, that's what's hurt me. That's that, that's what's, you know, I, I yeah, and that, like, you know, I, I feel like when Lockyer retired, like I know you guys have no idea who that is, but he's a, 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 um, it, it, it's like how, it's like how Kearns felt when Riley retired. Yeah, it's just it's just one of those things where it's just it just sucks. It's you know the the out the the champions are all moving on and the new blood's coming up and it's you know didn't think we didn't think this would happen in the movie trivia showdown, but it is and it sucks and it's something that is coming and yeah it, it just it just sucks. But look. All in on a lighter note, on all great, honestly, great performance by Harloff. That was insane. 
I mean, Chris Galiski wrote some of the hardest questions we've ever seen in the Schmodown. That was in, they were insane, but they both played really well. They both, you know, I mean, yeah, that it's uh, congratulations, Harloff, on being the new champ. You have earned it. You have deserved it. You are one of the best players in this league, one of the best players of all time. Congratulations, and I wish you all the best. And Dan, thank you for the last two years because it has been fantastic. And thank you for thank you for everything you have done for the Schmodown. Thank you very much. You're gonna make me cry now, you Aussie. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, that hurt. That hurt a bit. Uh, Kristen, your thoughts. Why does everything I love die? <laughs> The last two weeks have been terrible for me. Uh, Wolves of Steel, retired. Uh, Dan Merle, retired. Nerds Watch, retired. I don't, I can't. I, I can't. I can't. This sucks. <laughs> okay, so it was a really good match, but I think the worst part is that I was prepared for Harloff to retire. And so while I thought that he had the edge in the match, and I, I just, because you were unprepared for it, it hit really hard. And like he, like, I mean, is my second favorite competitor. And that sucks. That really sucks. Um, and I don't think I've ever been so unhappy to have predicted a match correctly. So, yeah, there's that. Um, but yeah, I mean, basically what Jacob said, it was a great match. They played very well. They were ridiculously hard questions um and uh yeah just thanks dan for everything and dude like the schmodown would not be where it is today without you in it so <sighs> yeah it, it, exactly and well and shit without dan merle we wouldn't have had the first match against campia and like the very first fucking match um you know case <laughs> so uh, this, this is uh, this is bittersweet uh, this is very bittersweet for you though yes i'm conflicted by so many so many things right now i just i watched probably my favorite match ever in the showdown i <sighs> doubt any match ever will top it because the way it went it it, it was so tense Every single round, I believe they were tied or almost tied. It was like one or two points between them after every single round. It was so close. Um, the questions were extreme, extremely tough, a lot tougher than uh, most people expected. And I'm conflicted because at, at one point, it's so fucking awesome that Harla finally won it. I have been waiting for this moment. For so long, I be I mean I've been watching the Schmodown even longer uh, than the first match uh, of Murrow versus Campia because technically that's not the very first match. I've been watching it longer than that. I've been invested in this thing for years, and to finally have my favorite competitor win, it's uh, it's, uh, it's so awesome. But it just sucks that. One of my favorite competitors, who he was going up against, as Kristen and Jacob said, now is going away for a, for a bit. And that sucks, because Dan is the greatest to have ever played this game. And I cannot believe that he is now taking a break, because he shouldn't take a break. The greatest should stay there and get in there right away. He should be fighting Christian at the Spectacular for the belt again, but that's not going to happen. And... I don't know what will happen now. I I will see. But this match was fucking fantastic. Um, yeah, that's really all I can say right now. I'm just still... My, my mind is still going nuts over everything that just happened oh, because it was all match. Tr trust me, as as is mine. I mean, Jesus Christ. I, I, I might need a drink or something because... <laughs> That's a good idea. Only one drink? Many drinks. I, I'm, 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 I'm starting with one. I'm starting with one. Yeah. But, um... <laughs> but, yeah, like, like Case, Christian is 
my favorite competitor in the Schmodown. For a different reason, though, than I think him. And, you know, because, look, I... I, I, I'm, okay, this okay. Someone get some fucking cheesy music ready because I I mean <laughs> this. Christian as a person deserves this. He deserves this as a competitor. He deserves this as a person. He deserves this on more levels than we realize because without him, we don't get this amazing game. Without without we don't get this amazing content. We don't get Dan Merle versus. Uh, Mark Ellis at the Spectacular, which I still consider to be one of the greatest matches of all time. Like, this, you know, <clears throat> Christian, you earned this. And if I've said it once, I, and if I've said it already once in this video, I'm saying it once again. Any ball bag who goes after him in the comments of our reaction, and if you're in the Take 3 Productions page, I'm kicking your ass out. All right, uh, Case, you got something you want to quick uh, say? Yes, uh, for everyone on Take 3, you might have noticed I have not been on a lot of videos lately, and that's going to be the case for a while. Uh, the only reason I was in this is, come on, it's Harla. I have to be on. But I'm not going to be on a lot of videos for the time being because I have some personal shit I need to deal with. Uh, I hope to be... Like, I will be on a couple of things here and there, but not, not a lot. I will be doing a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff. Uh, I'll, I hope to be back in a couple of months fully, uh, but for the moment, I'm taking a break uh, because of personal stuff that I don't really want to go into right now. It's just that something that I needed to announce, and I didn't really know when to announce it, but I think now it's a good time to just say, I'm taking a little bit of a break. You'll see me around, but not as much as I used to because I was full on take three and I need a bit of a break. So that's it. Yeah, man. And we obviously, dude, we all appreciate every single thing that you do for this channel. And we are glad that you're, you're looking after yourself first and foremost. So, uh, you know, thank you, man. And, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see you around. So, guys. Hello. Please, thank you for watching this video. Please give this video a like, leave a comment, subscribe to Take 3 Productions, and of course, go back to the original match on Collider's video, Collider Video's YouTube channel. Click the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to them. For Take 3 Productions, for Case Cornelesa, Jacob Blunden, and Kristen Smith, I'm Chris Stallman. We'll see you guys next time. Take care!